previously on Dance Moms. We are here, which we know that we shake her apples. Get in there and get my phone. I'll kick her ass. <laughs> All of the elites are back. The moms said that they would be bad parents to stay one more day. So I'm very confused to see them here. I'm going to have one competition team. I will be sending some of you home. What exactly do you deserve? You walked out on her. I just, I can't make the decision. Coming up on Dance Moms. I'm back. Abby better bring a change of underwear. Sick and tired of her little dance studio in Ohio. As far as the minis are concerned, you won't be dancing this week. Two girls I've auditioned are going to be here to dance with the group routine. You never can go to a competition with Kathy. You let anybody else know. I don't need your mouth. Oh my god, you're so ignorant. And have it go well. <laughs> Living on the dance floor. So here we sit after a very interesting week. Abby said that two teams didn't work for her. We knew that. We told her that months ago. People thought we were being jealous or and this. Everything like, no. is breaking down because of it, including Abby's mental well-being. And yet, here we were on Saturday. She could have made the decision to have right. one team. Right, she had every opportunity. And she couldn't do it. Maybe those now she's had some time to think about it, she'll do it today. If she's fighting so hard to keep those minis, maybe she'll send us home. She could. I mean, she didn't say who, which way she was going to go. Right. Oh, look who's here. Hello. Hi. We were wondering if all you guys were going to show up or if some of you guys were sick of her stringing you along and you were just going to be done with it. I mean, we definitely want answers, I think. I mean, how would you guys feel if we all stayed? Well, listen, the two teams can't be merged together. It doesn't work. Why does it not work? Eight-year-olds shouldn't dance with 16-year-olds on a regular basis. So you don't think that Mackenzie being good. part of the original team made the team? I do. Mackenzie was an asset to the team, but we just didn't have four Mackenzies. Abby needs to create one team. Here we are in Pyramid Day, and we still are stringing along all of these people. It's wrong. Whatever that team is going to be, I hope she creates it, and she creates it now. Enough is enough. All right. Did everyone have a good time in Las Vegas? Yes. yes. Now, I left the competition because I was supposed to cut people from the team. I made a decision. I made a commitment to this team five years ago to see it through. So. I want each and every one of those original four girls on my team. Mm. I'm really happy that Abby's not going to cut any of the elites because we've been here for a very, very long time, even though it was kind of a struggle for us to come back. But I think that we all want to be here, and I just want to stay. <laughs> as far as the minis are concerned, I'm making cuts. Not right now, today. But Abby, like, how long are you going to string them along? I have to figure out what to do with them. So you won't be dancing this week. Tomorrow, two girls I've auditioned are going to be here to dance with the group routine. I want the best team that I can have. I decided it was best for me to create one amazing team. But I don't need all four minis. I want girls a little older more mature. So I auditioned the best teen dancers out there. And I want to try out two of them before I decide which of these minis is invited back. Well, Abby, how are they supposed to have a fair shot if they're not even competing? Yolanda, we're in a land where bad behavior is rewarded and good behavior is punishable. All right, minis, you're dismissed for the rest of the week. I thought we were going to come in here today and have some closure. Abby still did not make a decision, even though they did a phenomenal job last weekend. We're going home. OK, so moving on. This week, we're traveling to San Diego, California. We are attending Fierce National Talent Competition. 
I have two duets. One duet is Brandon Kendall. My shadow and me. This will be a contemporary piece. Last week was all about Kendall versus Bryn, but now they have a duet. They have to put this rivalry and all of the history between Ashley and I behind them and work well together. Nia, you will be dancing with Kalani. You will also perform a contemporary piece. I'm glad I can make y'all so happy. The name of your routine is the young and the restless. After what took place last week with Kendall and Bryn, I knew Abby would force a rivalry between the elites. But at this point now, what Kalani needs is somebody to push her. So I am so excited for these duets. And really, either one of them could win. The group routine is entitled, We Go On. It's a lyrical piece. Let's go. Every single break we take, Abby goes out and finds new kids and wants to bring them in. And this time, it could make or break our team. Our girls should not be on the same team with a mini. So if she finds some kids to really make our team better, that would be amazing. OK, we're going to start with Brennan Kendall. My shadow and me, it's contemporary. There's almost a little evil underlying spirit to it. Kendall, I need you to try to control her, to be the shadow that she's frightened of. Take the floor. Her leg's here, and she's going to bend it and have you by the neck. Oh! Oh, god. Oh, god. She's just going to yank you. Oh, it's hard. Ah! Great, now you're going to be getting a chiropractor bill. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Let's see what we have. Not only is Kendall and Bryn's duet going up against Kalani and Nia, they really need to prove to Abby that she did the right thing by keeping them on the team. And hopefully adding new good elites to the elite team will make Abby remember why she started this team in the first place and fall in love with them again. But the last thing we need is more drama. and Abby better bring a change of underwear. You're probably all wondering why you're gathered together. Well, I'm after ALDC. Jeanette, you graciously stepped in when I decided that this was not something that I could do. So I want to thank you for doing that. We haven't competed against Abby in at least 18 months because I have put a lot of time into the studio but now I put together the most fabulous team. And she has no idea we'll be there. At the end of the week, we are flying to San Diego to take on the ALDC. I'm very, very excited about the theme that I have this week. I want Abby to always think of me as a nightmare. Do you want to be her nightmare? Yeah, I want her to go to bed and as she pulls the sheets up over her head in her cell, I want her to fear the C-A-D-C. OK, start warming up. Yes, thank you. Kalani, Nia, let's go. All right, we have lots of work to do. So let's take it from the top. Nia, lay down, but put your head and your shoulders on that corner and then you lay on top of her. Right, Nia, tuck your left knee more, yeah. Nia and Kalani are performing a piece called Young and Restless. It's about teenage angst. Two duets going head to head. Let's see if I can build some fight between these girls. We'll see if it works out. Oh my gosh, hold on, you guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Look what someone just sent me. Ah! 
Look who it is! <laughs> We're back. Kathy's coming, Jill! It's your favorite uh -huh. person! Oh my god, Black Patsy is on her team. How long was she on the team for? She was on our team like a week or two as a guest, and then she went with Cami Apples for several seasons. Didn't you guys get in like a fist fight? Listen, I never swung at anybody. She stuck her big <laughs> fat finger, disgusting finger, up my nose. Oh, you didn't tell my daughter. You oh, oh, Get on my face. You will not touch me. Very disrespectful people right there. Here we go again. We're gonna run into Black Patsy. I'm pretty sure that she's gonna come guns a blazing because that's all she does. It's what she knows. She's a hoodlum. Why do you think Kathy's disappeared for so long? I think Kathy senses an opportunity. We haven't been winning most recently. And so she's coming like, I have a team team that can win. Oh my God. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Oh, hi. Do you know who this is? I do not. Who is this? Kathy. I'm sorry to interrupt, but Kathy is on the phone. You want to come out and talk to you her? You know what? I know 400 Kathys. Kathy from Candy Apples, Kathy. Hell no. Could you do me a big favor? Could you tell Abby that I intend to be her worst nightmare? <laughs> Bye, Jill. Nice chat with you. Oh, we've had such a week. You have no I. She hung up on you? I know. I can't believe that. You better so help me God. I will crucify them. Sick and tired of her crap. Her little dance studio in Ohio. I can't even call her a pathetic example of a dance teacher. She's a pathetic example of a woman, period. The only good thing about Kathy is it'll up her game. It really will. She hates to lose to Kathy. Of all the enemies, that's probably the biggest. Shut your mouth. Don't tell me to shut, shut my mouth, paint by numbers hair. Don't ever look at me and tell me what to do. Do your thing that you do best. Oh! You're not gonna kill okay. me. Don't okay. touch me okay. again. Shut your mouth. Shut right. your mouth. Ooh. I didn't mean to do that. Because I didn't mean to do that either. They win, she's gonna lose her mind. Yeah, the gauntlet has been laid out. Hello, ladies. How are you? You look cute. Girls, this is Daviana and Cameron. I'm creating one super team. So I'm bringing in some new talent, and they're gonna give these original team members a run for their money. Cameron, technically, not the best feet, not the best legs, but she has a maturity about her. She looks like a teen. I think this kid could be a star. Daviana, she's used to going out on stage and beating her opponents. She's even beating Kalani. First place in the team solo category goes. That's the number 88. How will I know? I want to see the original team members sweating every minute they're in my studio. They should be intimidated that one of these new people could take their spot. Uh, you're warmed up? Yes. Okay. Nia, dig in a, just a little turn, and a reverse suit Nia. Right. We all know we need more than four dancers, so I am totally stoked at who she chose. They're the same size. She didn't pick any little minis. This is great, but we're up against Kathy, and these two girls might be the best dancers in the world, but they've got their work cut out for them. Can we go from the top? Bryn, plie or just putting like. The name of the routine is We Go On. It's a lesson for all of us. The team has gone through a lot of changes, but no matter what happens, I go on, Gianna goes on, kids go on. In one way or another, you must go on, or you sure will up and die. You know when you look at molecules in science class? You're like the molecule, and you're all like connecting, because we go on. 
we go on, just like life goes on. People die, people are born. Maybe we're gonna clone people. There might be Abby after Abby after Abby. Oh, hello. Hello. Hi, Mom. Hey. How are you? Where can we sit? Here, yeah, I'll well, slide down. Over here. I'm Camille Bridges, and my daughter's name is Cameron. Cameron's a convention kid. She can tap. She can be a ballerina when the time is right. She can be a hip hopper when she needs to be. She's a great jazz diva. Cameron can do all genres. Nice to meet you, Fernanda. Fernanda, nice to meet you, Holly. My name is Fernanda Fletcher. My daughter is Daviana nice Fletcher, and we are following my daughter's dreams. She wants to be a professional dancer. I know all the girls know who Daviana is because she beat Kehlani at one of the competitions. Tell me about where you guys come from. I am from Missouri with um, somebody you guys all know and probably don't love so much, um, Black Passy. So Whatever, that's Jill's best friend. Will she be jealous that you're here? You know, her I daughter mean, was, she was, they were on here. Team, and, and they wanted to do as she would have done anything to stay. See, it looks like Cameron took your daughter's spot. Sorry. <laughs> My first impression of Camille is, oh, yay, there's like a younger mother who might be on the team. Because, you know, Jill and I aren't exactly the same age. <laughs> Where do you come from? Well, my daughter has danced in Orange County all her life. She only does solos. So the solo that she beat Kalani with, how long has she been doing that solo? Uh, that was maybe four months. I'm pretty sure I don't feel threatened. Oh, so. I would hope to God your daughter beat Kalani, because if not, you're wasting your money. Abby has been on this new kick of, like, rivalries. She puts Kendall and Brynn against each other, and I think you're here to go up against Kalani, and you're here to go up against Nia. We have two guests with us this week. Everybody has to put their best foot forward. Who can do it? Who can't? Who fits in with the team? Who is a distraction? I need 100% energy if we're going to beat Kathy. Understood? So ladies, we've got a lot to do today. We have one day before we get on a plane to San Diego. We need to give Abby shudders, horrors. I mean, she's already living a nightmare. I'm just going in for a couple jabs. She's ready to kick Abby's ass. OK, well, there's <laughs> plenty of that there to kick. Mox, I need to know that you are going to be behind me no matter what happens. Don't worry, I got your back. What can I say about Black Patsy? She's not afraid of anybody or anything, and she's not afraid to say anything. She can put the finger to the nose any day. We are going to start with the group dance, ladies. Let's go. This dance is inspired by the 70s, 80s horror films, Freddy Krueger, Michael Myers, and there's a lot riding on this. It's our first time at competition in two years, so we have to win. Nice, nice intensity there, girls. I want Abby to be afraid every time she sees us. If we lose, the last laugh is for her. Oh, my gosh. If you guys dance like that, they are going to really know right then and there that we are back. We have two duets, both contemporary, both going against each other. Brynn and Kendall, let's go. We caught a break when Abby benched the minis. We've got two duets with mature, more edgy choreography. But we've got a lot going on here with two new girls dancing with us. And now Kathy is going to be at the competition. So even though Kalani and Nia are both amazing competitors, Abby needs to see Kendall go out there and dance beautifully and come out on top. So the group dance. Can we see what we have? I think those two girls in there are perfect for our team. I do, too. Perfect oh, I conditions. agree. They're all the same age, so they can all relate. Yeah. And on some level, Abby realizes that those little ones are not rivals for these guys. These guys, these two that she brought in, are probably way more likely to push them than any eight-year-old would ever possibly. Oh, of absolutely. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's so bad. 
dad, why can't they do that together? Who are you talking about? Well, they all go down at different times. The timing's really off. Yeah. You guys seem nervous. I don't think we're nervous. I think we have a history of candy apples, and that's why it's so critical that this team beats candy apples, because if they don't, I mean, she'll like, oh, there you go. That's why I need those little ones. So it's a big deal for us. I completely get it. Like, we cannot lose to Black Patsy. Black Patsy's big mouth bothers me. Like, you know when she's in the vicinity, because she's just yap, 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 yapping. And like, she just irks my soul. Here's the thing, I hate to say this. If we don't win this week, your kids are good as gone. That's it, rehearsal's over. It's all we had. It's all the yeah. time. Let's go, on the bus. Abby, are those rivals a threat? No, she's some sack from Ohio that is useless. <laughs> really? She has bad hair. <laughs> and she could buy some new hair. She adopted a child because she didn't want to gain weight. Ooh. Wow, seriously? That woman is not even in my life. She's not involved in who I am or what I do or anything else. And if she starts a bunch of crap, watch out. Today, we are at the Fierce National Dance Competition in San Diego. And there's not a person here that is cheering for Abby. Where's her fans? Stop. Abby's transportation. This is what we're gonna do with them today. time Kathy returns, Abby tries to pull off, but like, I don't care, cool as a cucumber. But when Kathy gets under your skin, it's like a flu virus that you can't get rid of. We never can go to a competition with Kathy and have it go well. What did she say when you gave her the broom? Because oh, she took it. I, I don't think she knew what to do with it. How dumb is she? She took it. She was so flustered. I know why she took it, though. You know, they give them jobs in jail, right? So maybe she's just practicing. <laughs> Anyhow, did you get a load of those new moms? You have to take care of those new moms and Jill, so you have a heavy load today. I'm not worried about one of the new moms. I don't know about the other one. Any of you know the other one? No. Man, I hope her kid is dynamic because something's got to help her looks. Oh, good lord. <laughs> if she's around Jill enough, she'll get Botox and fillers and get all that stuff That's done. true, that's Jill. true. All right, girls, stop immediately what you're doing. Stand up here. Young and restless. I want as much energy at the end of the dance on the last four counts as the beginning on the first four counts. Yes? My shadow and me. You need to be afraid of your own shadow, and I never see that you're afraid of her. You're supposed to make her be afraid of you. I need to see you acting, understand? Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. Remember, we're bigger and we're stronger than Kathy. We're better and stronger, I don't know, yeah. bigger. Where's your fearless leader? She's coming. She's coming. She's coming. Where's yours? Oh, you, there you are, oh, I didn't see you, you there. Funny. You're funny, but looks aren't everything. <laughs> Come up with some new stuff. Wait, wait, but, but Abby, 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 how desperate are you that you brought this mom onto your team? I mean, as big as you are on technique, you went and brought in a kid that does not take ballet and all she does is acro tricks. Yeah. Your kid can't even straighten her knees and yeah. connect a passe. Yeah. Oh, does she know what a passe is? Yes, Cut it out. I really want somebody to go and do a ballet class and put Nakaya up next to Cameron. Let's go. Let's do it. She's in ballet every day. Cameron does not even own a pair of point shoes. All she does is Oh, serious? Her point shoes are in her dance bag right now. Don't own a pair of point shoes. Your Abby's rejects right on over there. Camille and Black Patsy can go at it all day. I need to lay low as 
best I can. But if Black Patsy starts picking on Kendall, I'm not gonna sit there and put up with it. This is Kendall's opportunity to prove that she can come out on top. She doesn't need drama and negativity. Next, we have entry number 23, My Shadow and Me. Partnered them. Why do you care? Not even your team. Thank you, but could you know just stop with the commentary? We don't care what you, you have to say. To. That was horrible partnering. That that is you so disgusting to, to have a like human being she like that. Great. And you need Thank to you. Your big who, who should have to put up with that? We don't want to hear what you have to say. Don't know me. You don't know me. You you better ask her about those fingers, honey. Disgusting. You allow that in here. I cannot believe Kalani and Nia have to perform with all of this chaos. I'm incredibly nervous right now because Kendall and Brent dance beautifully, and everyone knows Kalani is Abby's favorite. So who's gonna get blamed for the duet if it doesn't do well? It's going to be Nia, it's not gonna be Kalani. Next to hit the stage, entry number 24, Young and Reckless. great considering the circumstances with that trash that shouldn't even be allowed in an auditorium. They look gorgeous. I'm relieved. I think this could be a winner. I do. I can't believe a grown woman acts like a bitch in front of all those kids to my kid. She's a piece of <laughs> is what she is. I mean, let's call it, let's call it like call we it see like it. it. So, Abby, is that what you let your moms do? Let them get up and walk out on a dance? That's very, very rude. Abby, come on, we're gonna go in, our in the dressing room. You better just get used to that smack talk because you're gonna have a lot of that in jail. Hey, guys, I'm, I'm finished for the day after that last comment. 
You're leaving? Abby, I'm behind you 100%. No one should have to put up with that. Beautiful. Amazing, amazing. I'm so proud of you. Girls, I thought the duets were outstanding. Are you going to tell the girls that you're leaving? Yeah, girls, I'm... I'm just We want you to stay so you can watch them on stage. But, Abby, yeah. if you leave, how, how will you know how well they do? Oh, here. So, we go on. All right. This is my livelihood. This is what I do for a living. And the words that Kathy's spewing out make me look bad. They make my studio look bad. They make everyone involved look bad. So the only way to shut her up is to leave. All right, girls. Everybody knows what they've got to do, right? We want to give them a nightmare. So please go out and do your best. Girls, before you go on stage, I would love to say to find two dancers who could jump in, compliment our girls, compliment the team, is no small feat. It's a huge risk to have to go on stage with bringing in two kids halfway through this week, but it still has to work, because you guys realize we don't want them any spec. We would rather have you guys here, so this dance has to be good. All right, let's do it. Isn't it just like Abby to run away? She gets scared. The students that represent Candy Apples Dance Center, they respect and appreciate me because I'm giving so much to them. In Abby's world, it's all about making Abby look good. All right, next to the stage is entry 83. I'm back, I'm your nightmare. There's no question that the candy apples routine was really strong. So the pressure is on our girls. This is a teen advanced lyrical. We go on. We're going to move on to entry number 84. We go on. Look around. 
Oh my gosh, we're back. We are back. I think it showed that we don't need those minis. The sky is the limit with this group. Start with our overall duo trios. Bryn and I are up against Nia and Kalani, and they're much older than us. And you know, our duets are totally different. So who knows? I really hope we win. Third place overall. Entry number 24, Young and the Restless. I wish that we could have been placed higher, but there was a lot of great competition, and I still felt like I did my best. Second place overall. Entry number 23, My Shadow and Me. Good job, girls. Abby really thinks that Brynn and Kendall push each other on some level. I personally just don't see it. I don't think Kendall's that competitive personality. our overall scores of groups. Right now, I'm really proud to be on this team. Let's just hope Abby doesn't throw some minis in there to mix it all up and, and change our momentum. But if we lose to Kathy's team right now, the minis will be back. Third place overall. Entry number 83, I'm back. I'm your nightmare. Second place overall. Entry number 26, Dream On. And now for the very last number. First place overall. Entry. Number 84, we go on! Yeah, we do. What studio are you with? Great job, ladies! First place overall, it was a great day. It has been a while since we've had a first place overall win, and I think this just might be the beginning of our winning streak maybe even with this new version of the league competition team. Just maybe. That was awesome. You know what? Those kids were so dang good. So proud of these girls. They overcame that big mouth woman behind me talking about them. Who are you talking about? Because I'm coming to you like a woman. I'm being respectful. I'm not Get saying nothing to me. you. I'm trying to talk to you, and you I can't talk like a woman. You no. Know, Kathy, tame her. Put a leash on that. It's oh, over. Do not touch me, because I'm going to end up in the same spot Abby is at if you put your hands on me. Don't touch me. No, no, you touch Jill first, FYI. Shut up. You just got here. Who are you? It doesn't you matter. Understand? What are you saying? Can somebody translate what she's saying? What are you saying? Not anything Hold real. on. Let me keep something real. Wait a minute. No, no. Why won't you let anybody no, else go? I don't need your mouth. If you don't need it, why are you so offended by anything I say? I'm not a dancer. Why are you so fixated on my kid? I'm not fixated on Then you. shut your mouth about her. Answer it was the not question. about Oh my God, you're so ignorant. No, shut up, you. This isn't about you. You know what, but it is. No, no, but it okay. is. Say what you have to say. It's not these ladies who have their leader going to jail. It's you guys. So who's the big loser now? See you next week. They're coming back. It's going to be another week like this. Really? I'm almost getting too old for this.
Next on Dance Moms. We are back for week two. Kathy knows which buttons to push, and Abby just falls apart. The best way to shut that witch up is for you to go out there and be far superior dancers than she's ever had. The overall team group. Get out of my room! Go! Abby, you're not walking up on the ceiling. Be in jail, honey.